Welcome to Changemaker Chats, a video series about passionate people working to transform our region into a community where all people thrive, regardless of their income, race, or place. Um, I am happy today to have the opportunity to be visiting with Nicole Hansen. So Nicole is the Executive Director of the Securian Financial Foundation and the Director of Community Engagement there at Securian. So Nicole, thank you for joining me here today. Thanks for having me, John. Let's start by um, you taking a few minutes and talking about yourself. What what brought you to Securian and the work that you do there? I joined Securian Financial just about three years ago, before the pandemic, before we saw civil unrest uh, before our eyes in Minneapolis. And my job was simple. It was to uh, double our community investments from $4.5 million to $9 million. Uh, sounds easy, right? That's an easy enough task. Uh, and it certainly spoke of the commitment Securian had to supporting our neighbors in need. Uh, and despite the challenging circumstances, we were successful in that endeavor. Last year, 2021, our total community investments were $9.9 .9 million. And we were delighted that the United Way was a strong partner and recipient of some of those funds. You know, that does sound easy. It sounds like a dream job. Somebody comes in and says, could you spend twice as much money? You know, and and that sounds like a, a really wonderful thing. But I can appreciate the, the challenge that is in terms of making sure that you are doing your best with, with the job you've been charged to do. So thank you for that. So, you know, you talked about in, increasing your investments in community. What does community mean? Securian Financial thinks of community in a variety of different ways, but most importantly, it's the people who count on us. So that is our associates, it's our customers, and it's our community members. We do not see ourselves as independent participants. We are a member of this community. We are a member of the business community. We take our responsibility of being a good neighbor very seriously. Securian Financial is a financial services company. We are a life insurer. If you ever really want to uh, test the strength of a company, uh, try finding them during a pandemic, and then you'll really see what they're made of. Securian Financial, the values that we bring to the table, um, call on us to do the right thing. And during a pandemic and during times of crisis, that is when we need to shine. People count on us for their security, their insurance protections. They count on us to be a good employer and to be a good community partner. And this was a challenging last few years. It's going to be challenging for, for far more than we can imagine. But we know we have to stay strong and we must give back. It is not the time to stop giving. It is the time to give more. So you talked about, you know, the different the different uh, groups that make up community for you. And one of the things you mentioned was your associates. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also talked about the importance of security and being a good employer. Um, what, what does that mean? And how did that change in the last couple of years where we have gone through, you know, some of the some of the most significant work and workplace and life changes that any of us can ever remember before? How How did how did serving that part of your community change? Serving our community and serving our associates were hand in hand. So we did not see one layoff related to COVID-19. We did not see any um, decline in our benefits. Nothing was, was uh, removed or, or temporarily halted during that time. Every single associate received their merit increases. They received their variable or bonuses. They received um, free parking, free considerations for lunch and bre uh, breakfast and lunch during the pandemic. Um, anything we could do to remove the barrier uh, to the challenges that we were facing as a community, we did as an employer. Every associate received $500 in a stipend to buy office equipment for their home offices. Everybody was outfitted with all of the technology and equipment that they needed to be successful at home. Um, and safety was top of mind. We did not have anybody come into the building for almost two years. And that was a challenge for many of us. Uh, we found, you know, your, your workplace sometimes becomes your home and your colleagues become your family. And when you're not able to see them and you're not able to conduct business in a way that you're familiar, it creates a lot of 
challenges, not to mention the other challenges that we all faced with health insecurity, uh, with school and school aged children and daycare and perhaps taking care of um, those aging people in our lives. We really had to do what we could do to be a good employer. And, and for us, that was taking care of our associates in the best ways we knew how. You know, that that's terrific. And we heard more and more from our corporate partners over the last couple of years that when they talked about their philanthropy mm -hmm. and and then the organizations and communities they were they were trying to support more and more frequently em, employees associates, as you said, were were at the yeah. top of that list, which was, I think, not not as common bef before COVID to hear people talk that way. And it's been great to see uh, employers come up in that way and support their employees. Um, you know, we have a long relationship with Securian and, and a, long, a fantastic relationship with Securian. Um, they're, they're a great corporate partner of ours, um, but, but I'd be interested in you talking about why the partnership with Greater Twin Cities United Way is important to Securian. The, the partnership that the United Way, the Greater Twin Cities United Way and Securian Financial have um, is, is rooted in um, respect, mutual respect and mutual a mutual relationship for many, many years. I firmly believe, and this philosophy is mine and I extend it as best I can, that we must trust our nonprofit partners to do what they do best. Our job is to provide the resources and the funding and at times perhaps advice or counsel where needed, but it is not our job to do that work or tell you how to do that work. We are not the experts. You are the experts, and we have to trust that. The pandemic taught us a lot. It taught us a lot about trust, about agility, about speed, and about the need of resources in, in ways we could have never imagined. And I, I'm delighted at the outcome of some of that, uh, the outcome of, of, of some of those uh, lessons help us make investments faster to trust our partners, to trust the United Way to do what they do best. And you have proven it time and time again that you are the resource our community needs. Uh, not to suggest that other um, other nonprofits certainly aren't aren't doing a, a reasonable job. Of course they are, uh, but we we definitely need the the continuum and and the continuity that the United Way brings. Now is the time to provide gifts that are unrestricted. It is the time to trust organizations to pivot quickly and to pivot fast to meet the growing need because it changes so frequently, and that's that's what I think is an important element of this. I think that's been one of the important um, things that the nonprofit community and and then people who fund the nonprofit community like like Securian, uh, that's been one of the important things they've done over the last couple of years is demonstrate that that speed and agility when the needs were so great and and getting out there and supporting people who needed that support. So thanks for highlighting that. Mm -hmm. um, I think of Securian as a as a leader in this space. Well, a leader in many ways, okay, mm -hmm. uh, but a leader in this space as well. And, um, I, you know, I think one of the ways that we saw you lead, at least as it relates to us in the last year, was in the way uh, you supported um, some of our new innovation initiatives. Um, you were really early to see uh, the value and to want to support them. So again, this concept of speed and agility, mm -hmm. But it wasn't just that. You also wanted to be an example, an example to your peers, uh, showing the showing the benefit of getting out there and supporting these initiatives. You did that with a sizable million dollar gift in support of these initiatives, um, and it really felt to me like leading was important in that gift. Yes, John, you're absolutely right. Leading was important. It was the way um, we could encourage our peers to think swiftly to join us in this bold movement. We trusted that our partners at the United Way were doing the right thing. The plan was solid and you didn't need to sell us. So often I, I find that it's it, it becomes a game of trying to pitch and sell, which makes sense in some cases, but you didn't need to sell this. This was absolutely right. And here's why I believe this was such an excellent fit. Securian Financial is here for families. We believe that we are here to help build secure tomorrows so that families can survive and thrive. You can't survive if you don't have a stable home. 
You can't thrive if you don't have food to eat. You cannot thrive if you don't have the resources and tools for a proper education. All of those things are systemic. They work together. And we believe that a united investment with the Greater Twin Cities United Way supports all of those things. But it also provides the lens into each of those areas that that absolutely maximizes the uh, ability for families to succeed. And that's what matters to us. So these are called change maker chats, as you know, and um, we're, we're really reaching out to people like you who are helping us create a community where all people thrive. Um, you know, sometimes I I, I um, refer to people as a change maker and and they're humbled or they don't they don't think they're any different than anybody else. Um, but I'd be interested in hearing from you. What is what is being a change maker mean to you? Being a change maker to me means you're willing to be bold and brave and take a stand to support the people who count on you. It is a level of bravery that we uh, that we are seeing among all of our philanthropic partners that is really strong. It it feels good to to make a difference in the lives of people. And more often than not, it's quality over quantity, John. If you can change one family's life, how do you measure that? You can't, it's impossible. So we should continue to be brave. We should continue to be bold. We should continue to encourage new change makers to think big and to think smart and to take action. And I'm proud to be considered a change maker. We've been talking about it, but I'm just going to recap. It's been a really challenging couple of years. Okay, we've had we've had a pandemic, you know, that that has lingered longer than any of us had hoped or thought that it would. Um, we have had um, the the murder of George Floyd and others in our community, and the civil unrest that accompanied that. We've had economic challenges. We've had safety challenges, education challenges, and now. You know, we're all dealing with a with a really a world crisis around the war in Ukraine. So it's it's a lot for people to to live with and a lot for people to deal with in a relatively short period of time. And, and yet the only way we can do that is to have hope for our future. So I, I guess a question I would ask you is what what gives you hope for the future? Hope for the future is 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 such an interesting concept. I believe in the people. I believe in the next generation of of leaders of uh, of students. I believe that we have the ability to change the world. It can be in a small action. It could be in a huge action. Together, we have the power to change the world. And I have hope because of the people because people want to do better. They want to help others. They want to be better. And we see it every single day. Every day you walk down the street or you come in contact with someone um, sh displaying kindness or, or going above and beyond to be a good a good community member, um, to, to be brave and to speak up when there's an injustice. The people are strong and I have hope for the future because of the people and I believe in the people. Well, thank you, Nicole. Um, thank you for uh, the conversation and thank you for being a change maker. Thanks, John. <laughs>